I, I really want to buy a gun, uh, a certain gun, and it's uh, the 338 Lapua. My buddy, who lives in California, came here to Ohio last year and let me shoot it, and I kept the casing, and that is a big casing. So let's look at the difference here, huh? Here's a nine millimeter, a Luger. Look how little bitty. And then here, next to it, is a 300 blackout. And then nine millimeter, 300 black, 338 Lapua. Oh, baby. I gotta get me one of these. Hey there everybody, Dusty here. You're watching Llamas in the Fog, baby. I'm gonna try to set up some uh, targets and uh, shoot them. All right, so our first two targets, I've got some braided metal wire lining. Braided metal, pretty tough stuff. So we have that also. I have a book that we can try to shoot through. It's Russian for dummies. So I'm gonna shoot it. This is about how thick it is. Inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half thick. And it's just junk. So I'm gonna shoot it. Plus the Cyrillic alphabet is for losers. I don't know if you've ever seen those neck massager things where it's just like a handle or a cup with a ball in it. And you just kinda I took the ball out. I'm gonna shoot that too. So as you can see, I got them nailed to the barrel for shooting. Now the only thing I have to do is shoot them. That's going to be hard. Because they're lit up. All right, kiddies. I got uh, my nine. So this is my nine millimeter. Shonique, Turkish military issue. Very nice, very nice gun. Yeah, all right. And uh, using some uh, Winchester 9mm, 147 grain jacketed hollow points. That's a fun. All right, I'm going to try to shoot those braided steel wire linings. All right? Here we go. I think I missed. Go for the one on the right. So I did hit it. I hit it right below where the nail is. That's where I was aiming because there's the hole and it kind of shoved it in and popped back out. The other target totally fell out. And uh, I did hit it and it did not jack up that steel very well. Like at all. That's warm. Wow. Braided metal wire lining. The next Kevlar. All right, llamas. This is my 410. It is a Stevens. It shoots two and a half and three inch shells. I'm gonna be shooting three inch shells. Got some Winchester Super X, I believe is what they're called. And uh, they're three inch shells. Winchester number six bird shot. I'm going to see if I can't blast those uh, metal braids. Yeah. Let's do it. Safety's off. Oh, got it. I knocked them both off. What did it do? Oh, holy cow. Look at that. Busted it up pretty good. So bird shot's better than a nine. <sighs> Got it. But still not cut through or completely destroyed. Big hole in that one. Shoe girl. Yes. All right. Well, I got a 12 gauge. This is my, uh, Stevens Home Defense, it's a Model 320 12 gauge pump. And I'm shooting some uh, 
Federal Top Gun 8 shot. Wee! Stay, stay! Off! Yeah! Let's see if the 12 gauge did. Oh, even more. Most of the top here was the 410. But I think from like here down was 12. Still not cut through or annihilated, just a little jacked up. All right, honey, baby. This is my AR-15. It is uh, a little bit old school. I also have other things to shoot. Shooting uh, not 5.56, five, this is 223. Full metal jacket and a steel case. We're just gonna fire it. Woo! Russian for dummies. Nine millimeter hollow point. Yeah, I think I missed. I got it that time. Let's go check it out. I think I hit it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Real good. Right there, nine millimeter. Yep, yeah, we plowed out the back of that thing. It's not a very thick book. Huh. And, uh, yeah, went <laughs> straight into the barrel. Well, we're not going to catch that bullet. Yeah, let's hit it with the AR. Screw it. All right, out of all those bullets, I only hit it twice. I know you can probably see that one right there. But there's one right here under the second M in dummies. Let's see if they made it through. Oh, of course they did. Ain't nothing stopping that. <laughs> Let's hit it with the 12 gauge. 12 gauge. This one I'm kind of excited to look at. <laughs> oh, did any of that go through? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like a braille book now. I kind of want to catch some of those BBs. Shoo, there's one. Yep, there's one. Come on. Ooh, oh, hot. Little bitty guy. He's cute. Wow, that was fun. All right, let's get the ball. So again, this ball is like, I have no idea what it's made out of. It's hard. And if you throw it, it's kind of like a pool ball, a billiard ball. Uh, I have no idea what it's made of, but I'm gonna shoot it. All right. Nine millimeter, here goes nothing. I think I hit it. Did I even hit this thing? <sighs> Did I hit it? <gasps> no. I hit it. Dude, dead on! Look at that. Ooh. 
Ooh. It didn't even dent it. There's not even really a dent. There's just a little scratch. Huh. All right. AR-223, full metal jackets, neck massage ball. All right, I still didn't hit it, but uh, you guys still love me, right? See, you guys think I'm just a bad shot, but actually this thing's just super indestructible. I'm kidding. I totally missed every shot. That was like a lot. Oh, wait. Right there. Bounced right off. A 2-2-3 two, two, out of an AR-15. Bounced right off that thing, seriously. Ugh. All right, llamas. Well, I had fun. I had a good time, even though I'm a really bad shot. I really need to sight that AR in, but still had fun. Always have fun with the boom booms. Uh, I really hope you guys like this video. So if you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click that little notification bell, check us out on Instagram, Check us out on Facebook, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Uh, one little side note. Get on it, so I can get on it. Also, I want it, but it costs money. Ah, ah I'm out.